welcome to another chapter of Living History. I'm Kathy Grady, and we're here today at the Longmeadow Adult Center, and our guest is Selena Blake, who's lived in Longmeadow a very long time. Right, Selena? Yes, I moved here in 1934 uh, and attended school in Springfield because there was no high school in Longmeadow. Right. Rode the trolley car, which went down the center of town, through the green, into Springfield, and then walked up the hill on State Street. To classical. To classical. Uh, that was trolley cars, and the uh, trolley car driver's name was Dutchy. <laughs> you said the one driver? One driver. And when we switched to buses about a year later, he also drove the bus. He knew who got on at each corner, and if you weren't there to get it, he stood and looked down the street to see if you were running oh, and coming wow. up. And if he <laughs> saw you coming, he'd wait for you. If he didn't see you coming, you were out of luck because he moved on. We also had the, the uh, trolley or the bus that took us home after school, and you had to get on that trolley or bus to get the discount rate to get home. But you had to walk down from we school. We walked down the from hill. tech or That's classical right. or trade. We got it on the corner Commerce. of State and Main mm -hmm. to take us home. And it went through Main Street, up through, um, I can't remember the name of the street, Fort, Fort, Fort Pleasant Avenue. Oh, yes. And around that way into Longmeadow. Yeah. Oh, I see. It didn't go Columbus Avenue. It did not go Columbus Avenue. It went up Sumner Avenue. Yes. And then around into Longmeadow. Oh, I see. Like over Dickinson. Dickinson that's right. Oh, well, yeah. yeah we never went. Uh, uh, so, um, so you rode the bus or the trolley, trolley and then the bus to high school, and um, you got a discount. Yes. Are all students got a discount? Only from Longmeadow, because Longmeadow didn't have a high school. So the price of the ticket was four and one-tenth cent. And you had to buy and buy a strip at Pool's Dry Goods Store. Ten, I, on, I presume. Ten so strip. it'd be an even That's, penny. Right. And you got them at Pool Dry Goods Store on Main Street, across the street from Kresge's. And uh, you had to turn in a ticket. They didn't take any money. You had right. to turn in a bus ticket or a trolley ticket for the ride to school. Yeah. And, uh, it, Did you ever get stranded? Once. I had to call once. my father. <laughs> he wasn't very happy. He had to leave work <laughs> to take me home. But uh, if we went out to a movie, for instance, if you had a date, you took the trolley into town, went to a movie, and you had to make sure you got out to get the last trolley home. Like what time? I think it was around 11. Oh. Because the last trolley that went to Longmeadow was also the last trolley that left Longmeadow to go into Springfield. So when we come home from a date, you had to make sure your date was out there to get that last trolley or else they had to walk home. So you got on the trolley in downtown Springfield, you came home and he turned right around. He had No, well the trolley had to go all the way to Enfield, to right. the line. You got so, off early because yeah, you I, lived. I was right on the top of the hill. I on Western first Avenue, street, Western first Drive, street. first street. So you had a little time. You had about 10, 15, 20 minutes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Before it turned That's around right. and came back and That's picked up your day. Yeah. <laughs> to and come I, back to Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I remember growing up uh, next to St. Andrew's Church was actually a mud hole. We went swimming there, though. Yeah, somebody told me the town pump was there. Yeah, or? we went swimming there. So they, when they started with this polio square, I guess parents oh. kept us home. But it was, it was the town swimming hole. That's all I mentioned. And uh, where CVS is now, across the street from uh, St. Andrew's Church, that was the first national store. It was a grocery store? It was a grocery store. And next to that was a garage. The Longmeadow Garage. That that's was still right. there when I that's moved here. That's that right. That was there a long time, time then. It was, yes. But it used to be a First National. So would First National have been where all CVS the, is? CVS and, and Rinaldi's and the bank. That's right. That's right. Oh, I, you know, I keep asking people about grocery stores, and yeah, I hadn't first heard national. about that one. First National. Oh, well, that's handy. But that's a long time ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess that is. Also, I remember, uh, which was a real treat for me. There was a small house on the green, and they had a tea room in the living room. Oh, yes. And when, that was a big treat. When my mother would take me there for lunch, it was really very, very nice. There were little tea sandwiches and tea and salads, and it was a 
It was a nice treat, yeah. And that wasn't the red house now? I can't remember which house it was. Yeah, I don't I remember, it except that it was on the green. Right. So you came here at 15? 15, that's right. So you right. didn't go to elementary school or no, junior high? No, my brother did, but I didn't. Yeah. No, I went to high school because I was already in high school when we moved here. Oh, you yes. already at classical. I was already classical. Yeah, that's right. You moved here. So you moved here during the Depression. Yes. Well, was it? Yes, you're right. It was Depression. Yeah. I was talking to somebody else in Longmeadow, and she yeah. says, we didn't know there was a Depression. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but my my dad know, my dad know. was in business, mm -hmm. and he had a pretty good business, and he was doing very well, and he wanted to get his family where they would get a good education, and that was the reason we moved to Longmeadow. The schools here were always good. Yes. And that was the reason we came here. And uh, my sister graduated. Well, she was already out of high school in Springfield. She was, um, was went on to University of Massachusetts. I went on to Bay Path. Oh, and, right, Bay Path. Well, Bay Path at that time was a building on the corner of Chestnut, Chestnut and Hillman Street. Chestnut and Hillman. Hillman Street, yes. In Springfield. In Springfield. I'm trying to picture that. So yes. it's up the near hill the, a little near bit. Near the from... YMCA. It was a corner before the YMCA. Oh, yeah. I know what yeah. you're saying. And that's where I went to school. And, of course, when it moved here, it really grown. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> The, when did it move here, do you know? I don't remember the year. No, I, I don't remember. But So you went there two years? Two years. Assist, yeah, associate degree. That's all they were given at the time. Right. Well, for a yeah, long time, that's, that's right. what they gave. Yeah, that's right. And it was like uh, Katherine Gibbs, or we used to call that's it Katie right. Gibbs. Yes, Katie yes, Gibbs yes. The, the, just Boston. that idea. That's, right. that's what the idea was, yes. So yeah. really professionalized secretaries yeah. and That's right. administrative bookkeeping. assistants, yeah. bookkeeping, yeah. yeah. Which in the end paid off because I had a very good job. You did? Yeah. I was manager of personnel records at Bay State Medical Center. It's a very good job. It was a good job. Before computers. Well, that they, was a very big it, job. They, uh, this was before computers and then they sent me to school to learn computers. The hospital did. Nice. And then I moved into uh, Bay State Medical Center. I was at Weston and moved into Bay State Medical Center. And then when I married, uh, I didn't live in Longmeadow. I lived your above. childhood boyfriend. Yes. Oh, I married my childhood boyfriend, definitely. <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> and I we married. We moved into Springfield, the Forest Park, and I lived there until oh, it was about fifty four, fifty five years ago. I can't remember. We moved here, and I moved on Viscount Road. Right away. Right away. Okay. And at that time, there was no telephone there. There were no sidewalks there. There was nothing there because the telephone lines didn't go any further than the high school. So you just missed it. <laughs> That's right. We were months without a telephone. And then finally we got a four-party line. <laughs> Very unusual. Uh, and my children started school. Blueberry Hill was just finished. They just finished building it. The first day at school, there were no desks, there were no chairs. <laughs> they sat on the floor. It took, a, oh, not too long after, a couple weeks or so, that everything was moved in. But they had just finished building and nothing was in there. Wow. Yeah. So your house was new, too? My house was brand and, new. And like, about what year was this? Oh, I have in to In the say, 50s? Well, it's about 53 years ago. Oh, so it's in the 60s? 60s. Yeah, that sounds okay. about right. So that's right when that whole area Here's was built. being developed right. after the yeah. sand hills were scraped Everything. off. Uh, we used to open the windows and the sand used to blow across the street from the high school through my windows and out the other side of the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, really. In fact, one winter, this is funny, one winter, the first winter we were in our house, we had openings, airspace in the um, overhang. And my daughter got up one morning, she says, you know, Ma, the ceiling is wet. The snow had blown across the hill, down the gully, and up into the airspace and into the crawl space of the house. Wow. That's how windy it was. But also, there was a hill. There's not a hill there now. Well, there was a, then. That was before they had leveled it off with football field and the whole bit. But it had gone down and up and right into the crawl space. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. But I remember sitting when the children came, then they came, everybody came home for lunch. There was no school right. lunches You got then. an hour. Yeah. And they used to ride their bikes back and forth. But we used to sit in the kitchen and have lunch, and I would see pheasants walking out in the backyard, snakes. Oh, wow. There was nothing behind me but woods. And, and we used to get the animals out there. We used to have a um, beautiful birds that would come. It was gorgeous, really, really So nice. you're right on Williams and Viscount. That's right. My and house faces Viscount, but I'm right on the corner. Right. So none of that development in what we now call the center of town, then it was no, the edge of town, The right? edge of town. The edge of town. In fact, where I'm living now, my mother used to take me to pick blueberries. Yeah. And pussy willows. Pussy willows also, uh -huh. yeah. Yes. So uh, there was a gas station, though, right? I don't remember. I remember I hearing that. that the, I don't remember. At that point, there was, was a gas there station always, I can't pretty remember. early. I don't recall. No. I can't say. I don't remember. So you were there but the, the whole time that was being developed? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. We're we living live, in we a live rural with the edge sand, of town, and it turns the into the sand a, and the dirt and everything else. <laughs> and construction. Until and now, there, of course, there's construction again because they're adding on to the high school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, construction yeah. zone. <laughs> Noise. Oh yeah. So but, you saw that all go up I the grocery oh, store yes. and uh, oh, yes. all the shops and. Yeah. I. It wasn't always a big Y. I can't remember what it was before. Was it? Wasn't it something else? Seems to I don't me. Know. I don't remember. I can't recall. I don't remember. I don't know. I do remember uh, much later, like when I was here in the seventies. Of the biggest town meeting we ever had was about the expansion, expansion of the Big Y. Yeah, that was huge. So far, they haven't taken advantage of the stores behind them, though. They do own the lot. They do own the, the property. Like the hardware. Oh yeah. And, and the um, yeah, the baker, barber shop and the baker, Kimmel's, Kimmel's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they own that whole thing. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it worked out actually. I think this big Y is like right sized, instead of having to have a car to drive down the aisles and stuff. And it's, no, it's, it's, a it's a good size. size. It's a good, it's a good size, size. Yes. It's right size. And as it, locally, it's great. I also remember, was it wooden steel? Wooden oh, yes, the candy store. Right on the right That's the now the spa, spa. on the that's, green. That's where it was. It's a candy store. I don't know. Is there still a beauty parlor upstairs above it? No, it's it's was a spa. It? That it's all oh, spa related. Oh, well, there used related. to be a beauty parlor upstairs. Uh huh. And um, what else do I? What can I recall? So from Western Drive, you could bike right down to the candy that's store. Right. No oh, problem. Oh, we used to go that down. walk. Oh yes. <laughs> you could walk. Yes. Yeah. So the, were there activities for teenagers in town? or? Well, not when I was first moved here. When I moved back with my family, yes. In fact, the, they used, instead of having the children go house to house for Halloween, they used to run a party as a community oh, house for all the kids. That's a good idea. That is such and a good idea. And keep them off the street, uh, and they'd have uh, candies and movies and games for them and everything down there. And it used to be run, I can't think of his name. He was in charge, was it the Veterans or the American Legion or, or some organization, I can't remember what it was, that used to run it. Panto, some civic minded. Panto, Dick Panto was the name mm -hmm. who used to do it. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Well, my well, kid, my kid, and my daughter went to dancing school with Mr. Ryder. She did. <laughs> oh yes, she did. I used to take her, and I used to go with <laughs> Saturdays. Um, Barbara gloves, glove. Oh yes, white glove. Uh, oh, I can't think for it. Bob, Barbara Sample mm -hmm. from the laund uh, Belmont Laundry. We used to go together, and she would take her daughter, and I'd take my daughter. And they learned how to dance. Yes, and and proper etiquette. Oh, yes, that was at the community house. Right. Yes. 